Hello, ghouls and ghosties, and welcome to a, I wanna call it a haunt hunt, but it's not necessarily a haunt hunt. You guys are gonna have to help me decide on that. Is it just like a festive haunt hunt? Do we need a new name for it? What we're doing is we are going to be going out today and we're gonna be looking for some creep miss pieces as people online seem to call it. So like spooky Christmas, scary Christmas, creep miss, Krampus miss. I don't know what you wanna call it, but looking for more gothic style pieces. If you're by chance new here, this channel is a spooky channel. This is a very Halloween-centric channel. I'm sure you can tell by the intro and by any other video you might see on the side or suggested to you. Yet, it is now mid-November, going into December. So of course Halloween is unfortunately over for the year and that means we're moving on to other holidays. But if you know me and you're not new here, you know that I love to intermingle Halloween with other seasons, other times of year, year-round pieces, other holidays, all that type of stuff. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today is looking for those pieces. Kind of like with Halloween decor, a lot of stores have big variety varieties of like taste in holiday decor nowadays. They'll do pastel pieces for those that like that. They'll do classic pieces for people that like that. And they'll do gothic pieces sometimes for people that like that. And of course, we are those people. So another thing for those that are new here is I, in my home, do a full-blown Creepmas, Scary Christmas decor setup downstairs in our basement. So I have a black Christmas tree, I have a bunch of different creepy, spooky ornaments, and I have other kind of like gothic Christmas pieces, and that's how I do my basement. Upstairs and in the bedrooms and in the bathrooms and stuff like that, we do stick to kind of like regular Christmas decor with regular colors. Downstairs, I kind of go wild and crazy with my gothic stuff. So I thought that today, we could go to all kinds of different stores and just see what kind of gothic Christmas stuff there is. Though the stores carry this type of stuff, they don't really have like full blown collections of it. Maybe someday a store will, but I don't even think I've seen that this year any store does. It's really gonna be more of a hunt, honestly, than some of the Halloween shopping because there's gonna be so much less <laughs> to see, so we're really gonna have to dig. Now, this is not probably gonna be like a series. This is probably gonna be our one Creepmas shopping video slash like Christmas haunt hunt of the year. I was thinking we would hunt for stuff today. In a week or two, I will show you a haul of everything that I have from past years and possibly from this year. And then a week or two from that, we will do a decorate with me of my basement with our creepy Christmas stuff. I kind of prefer the name creepy Christmas. To me that just like has more of a jingle to it, creepy Christmas. My gosh, instead of haunt hunting, this could be Christmas creeping. <laughs> I mean, the name doesn't matter that much if this is the only one we're gonna do, but this could be like Christmas creeping. But let's let's get to the point. Let's, let's stop rambling, Jack. We are gonna be going to Target. We're gonna go to a Home Goods. We're maybe gonna go to a Michaels. Possibly gonna go to Walmart. Of course, there's like Joann's and at home. We're just gonna kind of go all over the place. And though that sounds like a lot for one video, again, I remind you, these places aren't gonna have a lot for like gothic Christmas. So the clips from each store are definitely gonna be less and a bit shorter because we're looking for the little lumps of coal hidden in all the green and red. I don't know if I'm gonna film this all in one day, but it doesn't really matter to you guys. But today I'm for sure going to Target and I might go to Michael's and Home Goods possibly today. I just, I didn't want to disappear on my ghouls and ghosties until like decorating for Creepy Christmas. So I thought why not go shopping together because that's kind of what we love to do the most on this channel. So I hope you guys are excited. I am pretty excited too. I mean, nothing compares to haunt hunting but I'm pretty excited to take a take a peruse. So we'll see what we can find. I definitely don't buy as much for this season as I do for others, but that's definitely okay because my wallet takes a beating in the fall. So I think it's time for a little breather, but we're gonna look around, we're gonna see what we can find and I will bring you guys with and I'll show you what I see. 
Now I know black wreath hanging bars are pretty common, but they do have them at Target. They also have some black ribbon that you could weave in a tree or of course use on some gifts or as an accent on maybe a wreath or some kind of a pine branch. They had this stocking that if you were maybe doing a kind of gold and black creepmas colorway, it would work well. I think I liked this stocking the most with the black pine trees on it. Some were printed on, but some were actually embroidered, so it was pretty nice. They also did have a more plain kind of windowpane plaid black and white one, but it was more heavy on the white than the black. They had this Jack Skellington air inflatable. I think you could probably find a lot of good Jack Skellington creepmas pieces. They had this area of felt decor pieces, and they had quite a good selection of black and white, like this black tree. It was only $5, and it was pretty cute. Once again, it had those gold accents to it. They had a gnome as well, but let's just move on from that. They also had these black and white houses that are so cute. You could put them next to each other and put the tree by them, and it looks so adorable. And they're all 5 bucks. Target also had this black Nutcracker figure. He didn't really have any moving features or anything. It was kind of just a standalone sitting figure, and glitter is the bane of my decorating existence, so I definitely didn't get this. Now, I know these are just normal color penguins, but of course they are black and white. You could really fit penguins into Creepmas pretty easily. They also had this set of ornaments that were honeycomb style. You could just take the green one out and have a black and white set. Now these metal houses they have around Halloween and around Christmas, so I'll pick up kind of a variety between the two seasons, but I like to make a display of them. They're super cute. They also have some small ones this year, so if you wanted to make a small display of them, you easily could for only 10 bucks. They had this garland that you could put on a mini tree, even though of course you could buy a few and kind of add them to a larger tree if you wanted. Five bucks each, so not too bad. They also had some tree collars. This one was black and white striped, and then I actually have this metal black one for my downstairs. They had more gold and black together in the ornament section. They had gold, black, and silver as well, but they did have some standalone black ornaments. This was a set of four really large ones and then you could get this 20 kind of miscellaneous black ones. This was only five bucks, which I feel like is a really good deal. I moved on to the kind of funny and gimmicky standalone ornaments, and they had this alien in a puffer jacket that I thought was cute. They also had these really cool eyeball velvet ornaments. These reminded me of some Joanne Fabrics pieces, honestly, but they were really cute and I love their colors. They had this glittery sequin moon, too. I like that he had a face. He was really cool. This was kind of a black and gold one, a little bit fancier than the ones that came in the packs, so you could mix that in with your black and gold. They also had these black tin metal cars. Now, I have some ideas for these that are not ornament usage, so you guys will just have to stick around and see what I do with them. There was this shimmery white garland which would pop really well on a black tree. And they had quite a few wrapping papers that were black and white, like this plaid set for seven bucks. There was this gold deer on black background for also only seven dollars. And then they had these smaller rolls. This was some green Christmas trees with a black background and I loved these candy canes with snowflakes on a black background. I had to get that. <laughs> In a different aisle, they had some more options. So this was white with black Christmas trees, and then they had black with some gold writing on it, and some black glittery wrapping paper. And there was black with golden snowflakes. Of course, there was some more gothic wrapping pieces, like these black ribbons. They also had some black printed gift bags that matched a lot of the wrapping papers that we just looked at, but there were some other ones as well. This owl could definitely fit onto a spooky Christmas tree, I feel.
There was also this lump of coal gift box that would be really funny to put under a spooky Christmas tree. On to Home Goods next, and this is Grand Central Station Home Goods, a very familiar sight for us. Right when we walked in, there was this giant nutcracker. He was $300, but if you really wanted to spend up on your creepy Christmas display, there he was. All of the Christmas items were up front, and I first off noticed this metal zigzag Christmas tree. They also had this really large antlered reindeer. They had this glass Christmas tree as well. It was a mix of black and white. It was really pretty. There were a few different black reindeer in this section. They also had this nutcracker who was in a black and white plaid with a black hat. There was another Christmas tree. This one was more of a wood material, and it was, I guess, a very, very dark brown, but it definitely looked black. They, of course, had some ornaments here as well. This was a sequiny, glittery set of four. And this nutcracker also gave me spooky vibes with his eye that's been gouged out, I guess. <laughs> Home Goods had this really large metal black reindeer. It was more of a like natural real looking one with the kind of fur texture to it. I thought this one was really nice, but of course it was $100, so I did not get it. The blankets were actually pretty sparse, so I may have missed out on some, but they did have a Jack Skellington one and this black Santa Claus blanket. Home Goods had more coming out, including this wooden black Christmas tree that was a bit larger. But that was about it for Home Goods, so we moved on to Michael's then. Michael's, of course, also had some black ribbon, which again, you could wrap around a tree, you could use on gifts, you could do a lot of different stuff with it. I really like this checkered one. They also had some black ornaments, no surprise. I feel like luckily every store at this point has black ornaments. They had a couple velvet reindeer pieces. They were very weighty, so they actually felt pretty decent quality. They also had this wooden reindeer who had a black cable knit sweater on, but they had a couple variations of both of these. They even had a bird in a black sweater. There was this black metal reindeer piece, and then in a different aisle, they had a couple other more gothic looking pieces, like this black lettered sign that says, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, and then a countdown to Christmas that was completely black. They had this small ceramic house that you could add to one of the house displays from Target. They also had a couple signs, including this black and white photo of Santa. <laughs> Hello, ghouls and ghosties, and welcome to our second outing of going Christmas creeping. Christmas creeping, that's what it is. I apologize that last week there was no new video. I don't know if you guys saw the post, but the reason there was no new video was because I had only done half of the Christmas creeping, so I just wasn't ready to post the full video. If we had only done the first half, it would have been like super, super short. So I still have a couple places that I want to hit. That being Joann's at home, another home goods. I'm going to go to my local home goods and Walmart. So I really wanted to include like every single stop in this video, so that's what we're going to do. I will say, just looking back so far at what we've seen, I am very surprised at kind of the lack of gothmas slash creepy Christmas slash creepmas pieces at Home Goods, at least at the one that we went to. That's really why I want to go to a second one because I just, I thought there'd be more. Now I know there's not going to be like Krampus and like skeleton gingerbreads and stuff like that, but I definitely thought there'd be more like black Christmas stuff. Not necessarily for us Halloweenies, <laughs> but more for just like, I don't I feel like black Christmas pieces are more of like a minimal look. And I know there's a lot of like minimal minimal decorators out there. So I'm just kind of surprised that there wasn't much. That's why I'm hoping that this second home goods has a bit more. Um, Target had a good amount. I was, I, I wouldn't say I was surprised. Last year, actually, I think Target had even more black Christmas and creepy Christmas stuff. They had kind of like make your own little black Christmas tree last year. And then they had like a ghost of Christmas past kind of Grim Reaper ornament last year. And they didn't have stuff like that this year, though I will say they still had a good amount. They were still keeping us satisfied, I think. But I haven't even looked online really at any Facebook groups or any posts or any TikToks or anything like that to see what these stores have. So I really 
have no clue what we're going into. I also don't know if like I'm missing anything. So if I am missing anything and you've seen it, definitely comment below. Cause I don't know if some stores don't have everything out. I don't know if obviously like at home goods and stuff, some stuff is in high demand and it's sold already. So let me know if I am missing anything, but yeah, the plan today is Joanne's at home, Walmart and my local home goods. So that's what we're going to be doing. I think I'm going to go to Joanne's first, then probably at home, then home goods, then Walmart. That seems like the plan. So that's what we're going to do. I've picked up a couple things so far, but hopefully I'll find some more that I want. We started off with Joanne Fabrics and I had no idea what to expect in here. I noticed these candlesticks pretty quick and they are black. So of course they would fit well on some kind of spooky Christmas display. They had three different heights for them. The ornaments are what really surprised me. They had a nice array of kind of witchy ornaments. So there were these palms with eyes on them. They also had some moon velvet ornaments and some star ones that were a really pretty purple color. They had a couple other eye pieces like this velvet heart and a couple other moon pieces like this triple moon. They also had this ornament that had some stars and moons on it, really cute and some other moons like this larger moon with some starbursts on it and this other eye one and this other moon phases one. They had the zodiac signs as well, which you could kind of fit into a witchy spooky Christmas display. And then these mushrooms kind of gave a witchy spooky vibe too. Next up, at home, another store that I have no idea what we're walking into. <laughs> of course, they had a lot of trees. I do remember that they've had a lot of trees in the past. They had this kind of flocked black one that almost looks like there's a little layer of snow on it. It was a very weird texture. And then they had this more traditional black Christmas tree. This one was 100 and I was trying to find the price on the flocked one. It was $2.99, which I understand it's a lot bigger and it has more texture to it. But again, the texture kind of put me off. They had these really cute penguins next to this wooden tree. I actually kind of wanted to buy this set of penguins, but together they would have been about $25, which I thought was a little steep, especially because I don't really like to spend too much on my creepy Christmas display, but they were really cute and they'd work really well. At home also of course had some ribbon. Theirs was more of a black with silver mix and they had this small black and gold nutcracker who was ceramic. There was this one ornament I spotted that was a black and gold snowflake. They also had these coal bags which again would be really cute under the tree as kind of a gift bag or stuffed with something. They also had some very large amounts of black ornaments. These were only $10 for however many come in this huge tube. So I would say the best price is at, at home, though again, Target did have some really good prices on black ornaments too. Next up, my local home goods, another very familiar site. I noticed more black reindeer at the front, kind of like the last location. They also had more nutcrackers at the front. This was a small metal one that was $10. They had that same nutcracker with his plaid shirt. And they had these large, really pretty Christmas trees. They had a wooden one too, but I liked this one. It was 17 If it had been a little less, I honestly might have got it. They also had this black and white ceramic tree. Not really my style, but it definitely would fit in a more goth display. They had this black and white checkered reindeer. Again, not really my style, but it would work if your colorway for Christmas was black and white. They had a Joanna Parker piece. Now I know this isn't spooky Christmas, but you know I can't resist the Joanna Parker, so I had to show you guys. They had a Joanna Parker towel as well. Again, I just have to show you guys. I cannot not pay attention to Joanna Parker. Next up, Walmart. The clothing section is right by the front, and I noticed this Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas sweatshirt in the women's section. 
Then I moved on to decor and they had a Nightmare Before Christmas kind of train. They also had some inflatables of Jack Skellington. In the wrapping section, they had quite a few gothic kind of gift bags. This fa -la, la one was really pretty, but they had quite a good selection of them. The black and white tree one was really cute too. I really liked this watercolor tree one. They had more Jack Skellington pieces, so they had a neon sign and a snow globe. They had a plushie, they had ornaments, so much different Nightmare Before Christmas pieces to choose from. Of course, Walmart had a few black ornaments as well, a set of just regular ornaments, some velvet, some metallic. They also had some standalone ones like this black star and black diamond. In the wrapping paper, they had some really good options at Walmart, some white with black polka dots and white with black silhouette Santas. My favorite was this checkered black and white wrapping paper. You get a ton and it's five bucks. They also had some ribbon like all the other stores did. These little gift toppers are really cute. You could use them as ornaments, of course, too. There was this black and white snowflake wrapping paper as well. Alrighty, ghouls and ghosties. We have reached the end of our Christmas creeping video. So I had a blast with you guys and I think we had some pretty decent luck. I kind of feel like though I didn't film it last year, last year there may have been a bit more creep miss, goth miss, whatever you want to call it at some stores. Like I said earlier in the car, at Target last year, I feel like they had basically like a black version of every single thing almost. And this year they definitely did not. I don't even think they had a like little three foot black tree this year, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. You can always find stuff online too. So there's plenty of Christmas creeping that you could do online to find all kinds of stuff in black for the Christmas season as well, or for any holiday. But I did pick up just a few things. Now I'm not gonna do any hauling or anything today. I actually think a week from now, we are gonna do kind of a haul of the new things I picked up. A couple things that I handmade, handcrafted, and then all of the creepy Christmas stuff I have from past years. And I'm just gonna show you everything I have, all the new stuff I got and everything that I've had in one video on Friday. And then the next Friday, once we're actually in December, we are gonna actually decorate downstairs. So the next two weeks are gonna be a haul and then putting that stuff to use. I feel like that makes sense time-wise with the day after Thanksgiving, we kick off the kind of like creepy Christmas creepmas season with our little haul. So let me know what you guys think. Did you have fun with this? Do you want me to do this again next year? Because I've never done this before and this was kind of like a bonus at least compared to last year. So did you like this? Did you like creeping around Christmas creeping with me? I know it doesn't compare to haunt hunting, trust me. It doesn't for me either, but I still had a good time and I think we had some good luck. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you've been picking up any stuff. Have you been ordering stuff online? Have you been shopping in any stores? Did I miss a store? Or, or like I asked earlier, was there some kind of really good black Christmas stuff that I missed that maybe wasn't out yet or had sold out in one of my stores like Home Goods or something? Let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys next week to go over all the new creepy Christmas stuff we picked up and all of the stuff I have from past years. Goodbye, ghouls and ghosties.